Hi guys, Cinematic Recap here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain an American thriller movie, called The Banana Splits Movie. The movie starts with a successful children's television series called The Banana Splits, which features four animatronic animal characters Legal the Beagle, Bingo the Orangutan, Drooper the Lion, and Snorky the Elephant, along with their human co-star Stevie. Elsewhere, a boy named Harley is a huge fan of the series. In excitement for his approaching birthday, he wears a Snorky look-alike costume to surprise his sleeping mother Beth. She tells him that they will celebrate his birthday tomorrow, and Harley eventually agrees. After putting Harley to bed, Beth enters her older son Austin's room and confronts him about returning home late at night. He says that he is now 19, so he is free to choose, but Beth is worried about him and just wants to make sure Harley's birthday party goes well tomorrow. The next morning, the family happily celebrates Harley's birthday. Austin gives Harley a small wand that can increase in size when a particular button is pressed. Harley gets even more excited when Beth and his stepfather Mitch reveal some tickets to a live taping of the Banana Split show at Taft Studios. Since there are five tickets, Harley invites his classmate Zoe to the show. Upon arrival, all of them meet several excited audience and staff members, including show hostess Paige and her assistant Doug, fan couple Thod and Poppy, and aspiring young performer Parker with her father Jonathan. Paige announces that they are not allowed to bring their cell phones inside, but Thod and Poppy manage to sneak in a cell phone without Paige's knowledge. Meanwhile, Harley sees the members of the Banana Splits driving in a banana buggy, so he excitedly runs into the road. Fortunately, his idol, Snorky, manages to stop the vehicle and prevents an accident from happening. Before the show begins, the four characters meet their creator Carl, who is disappointed with them as they almost hit a boy just now. Because of that, Carl decides to update their software, starting from Drooper, while the rest prepare for the show. Soon, the Banana Split show's producer Rebecca is looking for Drooper because the taping is about to take place. At one point, the studio's new vice president of programming named Andy runs into her and informs that he is cancelling the show after the current recording as it does not go with his network's vision. Long story short, Paige appears on stage and tells the audience to check the back of their tickets. If it has a star, the owner gets to stay after the show and meets the banana splits. Unfortunately, Harley does not have the star on the back of his ticket, while Thod, Poppy, Parker, and Jonathan have the stars. After a while, the taping begins with all of the characters on stage, except for Drooper, who is still undergoing some updates. At one moment, Austin tells the others that he needs to go to the toilet. Since he has not returned from the toilet in a while, Mitch decides to go and check on Austin. Backstage, Paige confronts Stevie, who is expected to appear in the next scene. However, he is drunk and disillusioned with the show because the audience does not like him as much as the four animatronic characters. Shortly after that, Austin shows up and says that he wants to talk with Paige. He then explains that it is his little brother's birthday, and he is a huge fan of the show, but he did not get a star on the back of his ticket. Unexpectedly, Paige allows them to meet the banana splits after the show. At the same time, a drunken Stevie, who is about to return to the stage, overhears Andy talking over the phone about how he has cancelled the banana splits show. Following this, Andy is suddenly terrorized in his room and ends up being kidnapped by Bingo, who also overheard his conversation on the phone. In the final part of the taping, Stevie informs Drooper that this show might be their last performance. Austin and Mitch finally come back to their seats, and everyone keeps enjoying the show until the end. After that, Paige reminds those who have a star on the back of their tickets to stay behind. As the family is about to walk out of the building, Paige suddenly stops them and tells them to come with her to meet the banana splits. This clearly makes Harley unbelievably happy, but Mitch leaves them for some reason. On the other hand, Stevie mocks his castmates out of frustration because their show has been cancelled. Because of this, the Banana Split's new update somehow malfunctions, which leads Drooper to silently follow Stevie to his room and eventually kill him by thrusting a prop lollipop down his throat. Back at the group, Beth tells Austin to stay with Harley and Zoe, while she heads out to find Mitch. The lucky audiences finally have the chance to take pictures with their idols. At some point, Jonathan wants his daughter to perform in front of the producer, hoping the producer would see her talent. After Paige refuses to let them see Rebecca, Jonathan and Parker decide to find her on their own. Seeing this, Paige runs and tries to stop them, but this allows Thod and Poppy to live stream from other parts of the studio. Outside, Beth finds out that Mitch has been cheating on her with another woman. Just then, Austin appears and confronts Mitch for not being a good husband for his mother. In the end, Mitch leaves with no regrets at all, but is being watched by Snorky without his knowledge. On the other side, Jonathan and Parker finally meet Rebecca in her office. 
He then shows his talented daughter, but Rebecca does not seem interested and reveals that the show has been cancelled by Andy. Hearing this, Jonathan leaves with his daughter and decides to find him. Meanwhile, Thod proposes to Poppy while live streaming at the backstage, and Poppy accepts. Not long after that, Flegel arrives and ends up murdering Thod by sawing his body in half. Fortunately, Flegel leaves Poppy after he hears Harley and Zoe looking for Snorky. The kids ask Flegel to take them to Snorky, and he nods in agreement. Jonathan and Parker finally arrive at Andy's room, but they cannot find Andy there. Instead, they find Drooper, who immediately burns Jonathan's face. In the meantime, Mitch walks to his car and notices that Snorky is trying to run him over with the banana buggy. He keeps running away, but his efforts are in vain as he is run over by Snorky in the end. Beth and Austin go back inside and meet Paige, but they cannot find anyone there. Because of that, Beth becomes really worried even though Paige tries to find the others. When Paige returns to the hall with Rebecca, a seriously injured Jonathan suddenly appears and collapses on the ground, announcing the banana splits carnage. Rebecca quickly instructs Paige to call 911, but she finds all the phones disconnected and the confiscated cell phones destroyed. Apparently, Flegel takes Harley and Zoe to the workshop and locks them in there with Parker. While Beth and Austin are looking for the kids, Bingo captures Austin out of nowhere, but Beth manages to subdue Bingo. They then meet a distraught Poppy and convince her to join them. Harley, Zoe, and Parker finally meet Carl, who considers his animatronics actions justified by the show's cancellation and conflicts over freeing the kids. Suddenly, Drooper comes in and brings Bingo for Carl to repair, causing Carl to get distracted enough for the kids to escape and lock him in the cell. At the same time, Flegel and Drooper approach Rebecca and Jonathan at the hall and force them to participate in the sloppy time course. During the course, Flegel stabs Jonathan to death in the back with a key. Rebecca successfully completes the course, only for Drooper to beat her to death with a hammer. While looking for a way out, Harley, Zoe, and Parker come across Snorky, who is still friendlier than the other three characters. Thus, Harley successfully convinces him to help them. Meanwhile, Paige reunites with Beth, Austin, and Poppy, and they eventually arrive at the workshop to ask Carl how to stop the banana splits, but he does not provide any useful information. Suddenly, the group hear music coming from a hatch in the floor and decide to go down. But before that, Poppy notices the mask of an unused fifth animatronic named Hootie. Losing her sanity, she puts on parts of the costume and kills Carl as revenge for Thod's death. While walking down the underground passage, Beth, Austin, and Paige find many corpses of studio staff and adult audience members, including Doug. Afterwards, they follow the sound of kids screaming and eventually find Flegel and Drooper holding all children hostage while performing gruesome variants of their acts, like burning Stevie's corpse and brutally murdering Andy by ripping his limbs off. Soon, Snorky arrives and chains Harley, Zoe, and Parker, but secretly gives Harley the keys to free them. Beth orders Austin and Paige to lead the kids out of the building before attacking Flegel, but at one point, Drooper overpowers her. Luckily, Austin comes to her aid by stabbing Flegel. Drooper gets up and tries to fight back, but now Harley comes back and throws his small wand to Beth, letting her to stab Drooper to death. As Beth, Austin, and Harley continue their escape, they are suddenly cornered by Bingo. Thankfully, Snorky appears and attacks Bingo, killing him before dying from critical damage sustained during the fight. After the horrific tragedy, the police and paramedics arrive to attend survivors. At that moment, Austin and Paige finally start a relationship, while Beth punches a heavily injured and apologetic Mitch, demanding a divorce. Left behind on the parking lot, Mitch is run over again, this time being killed by a now insane Poppy with the banana splits remains in the back of the vehicle. As she drives and sings the banana splits theme song, Flegel somehow reactivates and laughs maniacally. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.